Sweatbox family, Chris and Mark here, bringing you your Tuesday sweat. Are you I am back. I survived yesterday's workout. It was a little touch and go there for a while, but we pulled through. Today's going to be an upper body focus. Yep. Yeah. So With a little bit of core. A little bit of core. Throw upper and core there. workout. So there we go. here's how today's going to work. We've got nine exercises for you. We are going to be doing three sets of each exercise before we move on to the next. First set's going to be 40 seconds, second set's going to be 30 seconds, last set's going to be 20 seconds, then we're going to transition break and we're going to move on to our next exercise. How many laps? We're only doing one lap. One and done, baby. Woo! This should be about 25 minutes of work to get us through our Tuesday. In terms of equipment, uh, mostly body weight today. Christine is going to be doing the entire workout body weight. For two exercises, I'm going to be using my dumbbell. So if you guys have resistance at home, go ahead, hit pause on the video, get your dumbbells. I'm going to recommend one pair of medium weight um, dumbbells and one lighter weight. The medium weight is going to be for bicep curls. The lighter ones are going to be for tricep kickbacks. But other than that, the rest of the workout is all going to be body weight. So Chris is going to tell you the nine. I'm going to show you the nine. All right, now you go to the floor. Exercise number one, we're going into reverse snow angels. So squeeze the tush. We're going to start in that Superman position. And as you can see, Mark is rotating his hands to meet behind him. Keep in mind, if the glutes are not tight, the legs don't come up. So squeeze your butt. Keep your legs up. Abs will be tight. From here, you're going to do a little break dance. Flip around. Ooh. All right, Russian twist is next. So I would like to see your feet up, squeezing your abdominals, and as you're rotating side to side, you're keeping your eye on your hands. Okay, from there, flip back over. All right, we're going into scapular push-ups. So I want your feet or your knees to be about hip width apart, okay? As, and we're going to keep our hands stacked under our shoulders. And as you can see, he's retracting his scapula. So that's just a fancy Turn this way, way of saying, yep squeezing his shoulder blades together. So it's a very small movement, all right? It's not a big one, that's okay. So focus on breathing. Again, inhaling on the way down and exhaling on the way up. It's tougher than it looks. It is tougher than it looks. All right, then we're going into, uh, if you're working uh, by, sorry, if you're working dumbbells with Mark, you're gonna be doing a wide curl. Otherwise with me, we're going to be doing a lateral bicep curl with body weight. The important thing to remember. These ones are tough. Make a wicked fist. Squeeze your fists as hard as you possibly can. It's the gun show. You're flexing a little bit, okay? All right, so again, with Mark on the dumbbells, we're going into a wide curl. You can see he's not coming all the way up, about three quarters of the way. Squeezing that bicep on the way up, on the way down, coming all the way down to the tops of his thighs. All right, that is number four. All right, number five, we're going into a knee drive hollow body crunch. So we're gonna start in a hollow body hold position. Lay flat, squeeze your butt, legs come up. All right, so our mid back to our booty is what's on the floor. Slow and steady, driving your knee in, pushing your heel out. This is tough, that's okay. You can do it. It's only 40 seconds, then 30, then 20. All Notice right. I'm pushing with my heels. Yep. We're not playing here, there's no, no. pointy toes. Push yep. with those heels. It's called a drive, so knee in, heel out. All right, from there, we're going to triceps kickbacks. If you're with me, we're doing body weight triceps. Again, making that squeezy fist. With Mark, we're using dumbbells. We're gonna start and finish at the hip. Okay, so it's not a curl, we're not coming up. Start at the hip, squeeze the triceps, pause a little bit at the top. Again, exhaling out and Ooh. inhaling in. All right, from there, we're going to plank jump it. So start in a hate hand plank these. position. You what? Hate you what? Oh. Uh, hate hate these. Hate them with love. All right, so hand plank position, driving our knees in and out. And again, you do not need to bring your hands or your feet in between your hands, all right? You're using your abs to drive your Ooh. legs in all and right. out. All right. It's all abs. If you're drawing your knees up to your chest, is becoming more of a quad dominant exercise and we really want to be focusing on those abs. This abs, is an abs. upper and abs workout today. All right, down you go. Grab your sit up. Tomorrow. Oh, goodness. It just doesn't stop, does it? We got to go faster. All Let's right. go through this. Okay. Legs at 90 degrees. Come up, exhale as you're touching 
opposite hand to the inside of your opposite foot, knee, or shin. All right, from there, flip Ooh. over. Onto what are we doing last? Oh my goodness, plank. wide plank. All right, go on your elbows. So, wide elbows, wide feet. If you're planking on your knees, same thing. Your knees are ultra wide. You're gonna tuck that pelvis underneath and squeeze your booty. All right, so yep. this is a nice hold here. You're gonna feel lower abs way more uh. than you do in a regular uh. plank. Okay, you're warmed up. I'm warmed up. You're We're warmed not. I'm going to go turn running. our fans on. Let's go, people. All right, drive those toes into the floor. Oh. It's a hot one. We did not open the garage door today. Otherwise, we'd be dying already. Drive those elbows back behind you. All right, we're gonna reach up. Hinge, walk out into that inchworm. Lift those hips up. Abs nice and tight as you come straight up. So karate chop hinge, walk out into that plank. Pike those hips up. We got one more of these to do. Hinge, walk out into that plank. Pause, hips up. All right, very good. A little bit of upper body twist. Rotating on the balls of your feet. Breathe. Whew. Again, you can see I'm pivoting on the balls of my feet. It's not this. We don't want to compromise our low back. All right, we're going into jumping jacks. You have 15 seconds left. Driving those elbows down to our rib cage as we are coming down. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. I think it's about time for Mark to make his fly in. Mark is gonna be right there. Okay. A little camera adjustment. That's all right. So remember, exercise number one, we're going into reverse snow angels. So we start lying on the floor, squeeze our bum, you stay seven. down there, I'm starting our clock. Okay. Everybody at home, you got 10 seconds. So we are sweeping our arms around and our thumbs are gonna meet each other at the booty. Here we go. Two, one, exhale. A bit here. Abs are tight, bum is tight. We don't release those glutes till it's over. This looks like nothing, but it's not. Inhale forward, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. This is a slower movement. Final 10 seconds. Keeping that butt nice and tight. Four seconds. All right, rest. Awesome. You guys got a 20 second rest. Just going to hang out right here. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to up our volume on our timer a little bit. Next set, we're doing the same thing, but we're going to do a little bit shorter. 30 seconds. Coming up. Okay. Alrighty, get in the position. All right, bum tight, arms up. Here we go. Exhale. You're sweeping your arms forward and back, rotating so your thumbs are meeting at the booty. Yes, it's harder than it looks. That's okay. Final 10. Exhale as you're coming down. Right to the end, guys. Oh, nicely done. All right. All right, we got one more to go. It's the easiest one. Oh, yeah, last set's only going to be 20 seconds. Yeah. You got this. Okay, All righty. Here we go. Get ready. Stay focused. We're almost there. All right, 30 seconds <sighs> off. We promised you it would seem faster, so don't go too far. I'm gonna grab a quick drink of water, but we're coming right back to the floor for Russian twists. I have a sweat angel on the floor already. Oh. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so try your best 
We're gonna lean back and keep our feet up. If this is too much of a challenge for you, yep. your feet need to be wide. We're gonna dig our heels into the floor. Give it a try. And okay, also, what do you think? be mindful of your back. I want you pushing that chest forward. I don't want us hunching over. Okay. All right, here we pushing go. our chest forward is gonna help us isolate those oblique muscles. Russian twist. Follow your hands. Exhale only one side. Squeezing your obliques every time. Let your obliques be the driver. Stay in control. Oh, there they go. I'm feeling my obliques now. We've got 10 seconds left. Push through, everybody. Oh yeah. Or lie back, whichever way you went first. <sighs> Keep that chest nice and proud. We're always going to remind you to do that. If you roll your shoulders forward, you're going to feel your low back. Here we go. Four seconds. Legs up. Chest right. proud. Here I'm going to go, go wide with my heels. Stay strong, everybody. Final 10 seconds. Embrace that burn. Mm. Oh, right. so good. Rest oh. All right, we got one more to go. 20 little seconds left. Okay. <sighs> Don't get up after this because we're gonna go to a push-up position. All right, here we go. Three seconds. Two, one. Like Chris said, Time your breath so you're inhaling on one side. Using your breath as cadence, really important. Helps you stay in control. Oh, okay. nicely done. Ah, high All five. Right. Bam. All right, scapular push-ups are next. So I'm just going to do a quick demo again. Hands under the shoulders, yeah. feet hip width apart. Okay. Squeezing. Tucking that tailbone Whoop. under towards the floor. Drawing those shoulder blades together. You're pulling yourself down to the floor. You're not letting gravity do it for you. This is the same movement as if you were hanging from a bar on your back. You're pulling those shoulder blades together and then pushing them away. Instead of hanging from a bar, because we all, don't all got bars at home, <laughs> we got floors. Get at her. Here we go. It's going to feel different. That's okay. You don't have to go fast. I'm going down for a three count. One, two, three. I'm at the bottom. One, two, three. I'm at the top. One, two, three. At the bottom. One, two, three. Three, top. You guys, keep that going. Little movement, big results. Woo. All right, Alrighty. take a knee. Yeah. Oh, that is so hard compared to what you think. Uh huh. I'm sweating buckets. It's good though. Oh. For those of you struggling with your push-ups, for those of you struggling with pull-ups. This is the magic exercise. This is gonna give you such strong accessory movements. And along with those reverse snow angels, this is really good for shoulder mobility. Oh. 10 seconds. Love these. Makes one of us, guys. Ugh. Three, two. Ugh. It's all about bringing balance. I hate plank jump-ins, but I love scapular push-ups. <laughs> oh. Can't have the sweet without the sour. That's right, okay, here all we right. go. This is our last set. Yay! This is our last set, let's do this. The fun ones always go by so fast. <laughs> Remember, 
Get those feet hip width, the, hip width apart. Tuck that pelvis underneath. Hey, if you're feeling your abs here, you should be too, just so you know. Oh, oh great oh. job. Thank goodness nice. that was over with. All right. All right, curls are next, but break is first. You yeah. still got about 35 seconds left. Grab water if you need it. So if you're doing bodyweight curls with me, we're doing lateral ones. Again, that flex time, making that crazy squeezy fist. Uh -huh. and curling, slow and steady in, keeping those elbows at shoulder height, if, and then out. If you don't have dumbbells or large jars of peanut butter, <laughs> jugs of water to do these curls with me, this is incredibly difficult. I've done those. They are not good. Oh, go. They are good. They're great. They just don't always feel it. We talk a lot about peanut butter, and for those of you that don't know, it's a huge staple in our house. We have a lot of it. All right. If you're doing curls, I'm in a staggered stance. You can either be staggered or have your feet parallel. I'm leading ever so slightly with my pinkies as we come up, really giving those biceps a squeeze at the top. And I'm keeping my elbows pinned to the sides of my body. I don't know if the camera can catch it, but I'm shaking. As you should be too. That's how much you should be squeezing. Don't release those hands on the way out. Woo. Awesome, oh. nice work. All right. I'm setting my weights down. <sighs> We're gonna do this again. So I'm gonna turn to the side so you guys can see I've locked my core in too. Okay, so my feet are hip width apart. I'm squeezing my booty. Abs are nice and tight. No need for a staggered stance in this exercise with me. You can see with me, core is engaged. My tush is tight. I am trying to eliminate any upper body or hip sway. Full exhalation on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Five seconds. Oh, biceps are burning. I'm shake my hand oh. Ladies, if you have nails, gentlemen, if you have nails, you'll be digging them into your palms. I don't know. You'll, you'll, you'll live. All right, three seconds. Pick them up. Here we go. Squeeze and pulse. Keep that core tight. Don't do less of these, that's okay. Can you squeeze harder? I know you can. Oh, nicely done. Woo, all right. Yeah. Take it out. We're gonna hit the floor in that hollow body crunch. All right. So again. Like Chris said during the demo, when you're down here, your tush and your mid back is in contact with the floor. There should be no focal point on your tailbone. If all you're feeling on the floor is your tailbone, you're in the wrong position. Bring your shoulders a little further back towards the floor. Yeah, so start lying down and then come up. It's easier than sitting and lying back. All right, here we go, guys. Five seconds. Again, driving the knee in, pushing the heel out. Up we go. Push that heel. Tell us how you're breathing, Chris. Where's your inhale, where's your exhale? Inhale with my knee coming in. Exhale as I'm driving my heel out. I am tucking my chin. I am watching my toes. 15 seconds left, guys. It's the hardest one. Inhale, exhale. You got this. Keep that butt tight. Keep that back safe. Bend your knees. Get your feet oh, on the floor. Hi. That was one. <laughs> we got two left. Yep, we do. All right. I'm going to turn sideways a little bit. Whew. All right. So start in the lying position. Here we go. We are ready. Head. Okay, ready? Up we go. Inhale, exhale. This is not a bicycle crunch. You should not be going fast. Inhale. Exhale. We're hitting upper and lower abdominals here. You got yes, this. We are. Final 10 seconds. Oh. Yep. Oh. 
Oh. Alright. Oh, thank goodness we only have 20 seconds left. <laughs> I am feeling that one. Oh, no. uh, how are you guys? You feeling that at home? <laughs> Uh, hit that thumbs up button if you're feeling it. Okay, legs out, long <sighs> tight. You got this, everybody. This one is gonna go so fast. <sighs> we got 10 seconds left, make it count. <sighs> Five. Woo! <sighs> 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 Take a breather. Oh, I'm thankful the fans are on. Oh yeah, fans <laughs> and air conditioning. Oh, very good. First day this year. All right, uh -huh. that's the other thing. If you guys have a stand-up fan, like a whatever fan you have, put it close to your workout area. It will make things a little more uh, comfortable. <laughs> All right, we're going into body weight or dumbbell triceps kickbacks. So we're gonna karate chop those hips, pushing that booty back. We're gonna start with our fists at our hips. I'm getting my lighter yeah. weight. Again, I'm gonna choosing to do that staggered stance. Coming back, I'm pulling my elbows just above the plane of my back, kicking back, pausing for a moment, returning to the hip. Make that fist, guys, if you're with me, squeezing your triceps and squeezing that those fists like crazy. Inhale as you're driving towards the hips. Exhale as you're pushing out behind you. I'm going to turn Woo. face away from the camera. You can see how my elbows are coming straight back. I'm not letting them flare up to the sides. Three. Rest. Woo! Oh yeah. All right. I'm going to give you another variation on this for body weight. Karate chop. Come forward, but arms straight, thumbs down to the ground. Come up and pulse as high as you can. Right, if you can go. pulse for the full 30 seconds, you you win internet points. You guys want to try it? Let's do it. All right. Pulse. 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 Pass halfway. Keep going, gang. Final few seconds, we're down to the single digits. Here come those beeps. Counting you out. Oh, there we go. We got one more set to go. Okay. Oh, and then it is my nemesis because plank jacks are next. No, plank jumpins. Plank jumpins. <laughs> Boo. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm going to go back to those triceps kickbacks. Okay. Squeeze those fists. Drive them back. Squeezing those triceps, you do want to pause at the top just a little bit, two to three seconds. Come on guys, eight seconds, you got this. Keep that butt out. Oh, All right. oh my goodness. Okay, All on. right. Land jump ins are next. Okay. This is the kale of the exercise world. We might not love it, but it's really good for us. And effective. That's the key important part. Yeah. Okay. We are going to start on our hands with them stacked underneath our shoulders. We are going to keep our feet hip width apart. Yeah. We are going to be driving our feet in. Notice how Chris's feet wind up under her hips. Yeah. That's a good indication. If you're coming in any further than your hips, you're turning this into more of a leg exercise and easing up on the abs. And we want to work on the abs oh. here. Remember when you're jumping out, you're jumping out into a plank. So remember, if you need to pause out in that plank position, that's fine. Do not move your shoulders. Keep them stacked on top of those hands. Using your abs to drive your legs in and out. If you need to step in and step out, that's fine. It's really easy to drift back though. So keep in mind, your shoulders are on top of your hands the whole time. Five seconds, guys. Oh. All right, take a knee. Oh. Uh-huh. That's one. <laughs> so you can see at the end, I sped up a little bit. Maybe you weren't looking, that's fine, but I did. All right? You choose your pace. Try and keep that same pace the entire time. Okay, here we go. Two. One, 
let's go. Remember, you're keeping your feet hip width apart. Whew. I'm really working on using my abs to pull myself up, and I'm fighting the urge to push up off my toes. Very subtle, but you feel the difference. So think about that. You're not pushing forward off your toes. It's not a jump squat. You're contracting those abs and piking your butt up in the air. Here Final 20 seconds. Finish strong, everybody. I find pausing in that plank takes the elasticity out of my legs and prevents me from jumping forward. Pausing helps me use my abs. Oh, yeah, it's over. That was a race for the bell. <laughs> okay. All right, grab water. Grab your setups are next. Chris, show them what we're doing. Okay. Flat on the back. Legs at 90. Push those heels out. Exhale up. A little bit of a twist as you're coming to reach the inside of your opposite foot, calf, or knee. And again, do yourself a favor. Exhale as you're coming up. All right, get ready, gang. We got five seconds. Are you ready? Oh, I'm gonna be ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. Okay. Control the movement on the way down. You're not doing yourself any service by flopping down. Watch me, I'm letting myself down one vertebrae at a time. I'm exhaling as I'm reaching for my foot. Inhaling as I'm controlling that eccentric movement. Back to the starting position. Push those heels out, guys. No need to go fast here. Single digits, final 10 seconds. That's to keep me going. You guys come along for the ride. Oh, that's a tough one. Good news is, the rounds are shorter from here. Uh -huh. Could you finish that word? All right. Five seconds, my friends. Sweat's good today. All right, here we go. Legs up. Exhale up. Your time is descending, so you're 10 seconds shorter this round than you were your first round. Here we go. Last 15 seconds. Pull that torso up off the floor. Woo! Four seconds. Oh my goodness. All right, we did it. We got one more. This many more to do. Just one. Oh, that. <laughs> okay. Uh. Are we ready? Nope, but we're going to go anyway. Let's do it. 20 seconds, everybody. If you can't reach your foot, go for your shin. If you can't reach your shin, go for your knee. It's all good. Keep moving. That's the key, right, Mark? Uh huh. Keep I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying my hardest. Oh. Oh. All right. Okay, gang. We are eight. That's right, this many. We are eight exercises in. It means we've got one exercise left. And it's a plank, but it's not a regular plank. It's a wide plank. I'm gonna show so them I want this you way. down on your elbows, elbows wider than your shoulders, feet wider than your hips, and I want that tailbone curled under towards the floor. Keep that tushy nice and tight. Keep that core nice and tight. All right, let's so, get ready. We got six seconds. Get into position. Plant your arms, make your fists. And then step out. There we go. Roll that tailbone under. Keep your weight in your center, not pushing forward. I'm gonna widen up a little bit here. Yep, normal to adjust your feet, that's fine. If you're on your knees, you could be nice and low on your knees too, okay? Tuck those toes underneath. Tuck your pelvis underneath. Guys, 15 seconds. That's all we have left here. This is the longest round. 
Eight seconds. Pelvis under, everybody. Woo! Three, two, one. Ah. Take All a right. knee here. That's right. All right. I'm going to turn sideways to the camera. This next round, I'm going to show you. I'm going to demonstrate again what it looks like when you do versus you don't have that tailbone tucked under. Okay. I want you to see the difference. All right, here we go. Nice and wide elbows, nice and wide feet. Now, my tailbone is not tucked. Now it's tucked. Do you see the difference? Here, I'll do it again. Not tucked, tucked. My core tightens up automatically. My glutes engage automatically by tucking that tailbone under. Stay strong, guys. 10 seconds. You got this. When we're done, take a knee. All right. All righty. One more. For our last set, I'm going to face the camera again. I want you to watch how wide my elbows, how wide my feet are apart. And again, I'll demo that tailbone tuck. Let's go. Elbows wide, feet wide. Tailbone's not tucked. Now it's tucked. Oh, that burns so good. Seven, six, come on. Four, three, two, one. All right. Oh, there they are. Take that knee. Big thumbs up. Awesome work today, everybody. Nice job. Oh. Shake everything out. We're gonna do a nice upper body and core stretch. So I'm gonna say start, just inhale, big stretch up. Hinge at the hips, exhale as you come over. Let your head drop. Oh, so good. Let's do that again. Big breath up. Hinge, exhale. Come on up. All right. Hands on your hips. Look up, another big breath. Inhale. Slowly drop that chin to your chest. And again, look up. Big breath in. Exhale as you drop your chin to the floor. Alrighty, let's open up that chest. Palms up, arms up in front of you. Come nice and wide. Feel that stretch through your chest. Three, four, five. Roll those hands all the way over so your thumbs are pointing down. Bring those hands even further behind you. Get that stretch through your lower chest. You got it. Alrighty, shake it out. Nice oblique stretch. Bring those feet in a little bit. I'm gonna say heels hip width, maybe just a little outside of hip width. I'm gonna reach up and over. Really wanna get that nice stretch through our obliques. I need to go wider than hip width. Oh, pop that hip out. Alrighty, back up to center. Let's go on the other side. Shake it out. Alrighty, let's do a tricep stretch. Pat ourselves in the middle of the back. Put some light tension on that elbow, pressing rearward. Want to get that nice stretch right here through that tricep. That's where we want to feel it. You've heard me say it a million times before. Stretching should not be painful. It should only be mild to moderate tension. If you're feeling pain, please back off. Don't push so hard. Alrighty, shake out, switch sides. That's all we got for you today. Awesome work on Tuesday. Stay cool, stay calm, stay collected. We're gonna get through this. We're coming out the far side of this quarantine. We're gonna be better shaped than when we went into it. Give me a high five, Chris. High five to you guys, bam. All of our love, thank you for your support. Tell your friends about us. 
hit that subscribe button. Help us drive those subscription numbers up so that we can take our videos on the road. We can go mobile, we can go live and do all, the, all other kinds of good things, but we're gonna need your support to get there. Help us hit that thousand subscriber mark. We're gonna do it together. Thanks guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.